global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. A lot is happening in the north. Uh, some days back, Peter Obi has been touring the north, uh, trying as much as he can to get as much vote as he can as we speak. Uh, APC and PDP and the uh, NNPP are reacting. Uh, you will get to hear the reaction of Shatima over this matter and over his kinsmen, what the plan is for and against him and of course you also get to find out the underground moves being made by the north or directly by articles persons and nnpp what is going on the moment we're going to find out all this out but before we do that can you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel or youtube okay let's start with what article is doing even using very powerful men to achieve it. Well, according to the news, Buba Galatima, a chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has said that the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, keeps sending prominent people to Rabiu Musa Kwanwanso, the NNPP presidential candidate, to quit the race and support him. Galatima stated this uh, during an interview, adding that NNPP will win even in, in Atiku's polling unit. He said, and I quote him, we will defeat Atiku in Jada local government of Adamawa state. Atiku is not in this race. Yes, on paper he is, but he is not a candidate. How would, how would he win? Through what? Atiku is using religious leaders to appeal to Kwangwan So to step down for him. Atiku used former heads of states, former heads of state, and prominent people to appeal to Kwangwan So. Atiku used traditional rulers, spent billions of naira. To persuade them to go and talk to Kwang Wanso to step down for him. He used northern groups to try to manipulate and say that they interviewed the presidential candidate and found Atiku to be the best. They know we know. They could not achieve their vision. We are more northerners than them. Kwang Wanso is from Kano and I am from Gashua. My village to the extreme part of the north is about 50 kilometers, so I am northerner than them and I'm older. Recently, he, Atiku, sent some three prominent Islamic scholars to Kwangwa Sos house to kneel down for him, pleaded to step down. We sent them away. Yes, who are they? We respect that regalia, but if they remove it, we will ask small boys to deal with them. Whoa. Now you can see the level of... Um, Politics going on behind the curtain, underground politics going on. This same politics played out in PDP primaries, where Tom, uh, uh, Tambua resigned, stepped down a few minutes before the polls began, during the delegates' polls. And now, till today, there's still crisis in PDP over that singular action. Are we going to see the same? This is just a few days, we're on die minute to the election. For the presidential election, if Kwangwa so steps down, the dynamics will change definitely. And if that happens, I can assure you, Southerners will not take it kindly. 16 years of another rule is a no no. But let's find out what is happening in APC uh, in the person of Shatima. Uh, according to the news, um, the former governor of Brown State alleged that Northerners were refusing to support him because he's Kanuri ethnic heritage. Chetima stated this during a visit to the Emir of Dora in Katsina State. Uh, the APC vice presidential candidate argued that there are people from the north who are not Hausa but have gone ahead to benefit the region. He said, and I quote him, People are saying that I am not Hausa. We have had people from the north who are not Hausa and they benefited the north. Omar Musa Yeradua, Buhari, and others are examples. I am not Hausa, but I'm a, f I'm a Fulani blood f related. I am a Kanuri also, and I benefit. I have benefited not than the other. He went on to add that Northerners in the state with, pre pre were, with predominant Hausa and Fulani people were refusing to back him. Speaking in Hausa and in reference to Atiku Abubakar, presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Shatima said, ours is ours, but our man who does not benefit us cannot be considered as our own. 
The former Brownie State governor subsequently asked the audience to show him what Atiku did for the region during his eight years as vice president that warrant their vote. Wow. Talk about campaigning strongly. Uh, you would agree with me that this is getting quite interesting. Okay, but the question now is, would um, Kwon Wan So be stepping down for Atiku? Well, time will tell. And to make matters interesting, to think that Atiku Babaka is using former heads of state. I cannot forget Yankasi uh, did one that please this game that is playing at the background in the northern region should please they should not use their greed and quest for power to short to scrub to uh the democracy that nigeria have built over the years so that our heroes their their efforts will not be in vain our heroes past their efforts will not be in vain now he he has seen things that made yakasi to scream out and said please let it go let the South for the first let it let's continue with the unwritten agreement we had at the foundation of Nigeria, where we agreed that there will be a northern protectorate and a southern protectorate. And when South finishes, not should continue. It's unwritten. But if you want to go by constitution, that over time have been amended and over and over again, it's just a matter of time. The southern part of Nigeria will be disgruntled and you may not have a peaceful Nigeria. I'm just being as objective as I can be. Uh, but then they are coming with the idea that. Why wouldn't Atiku win or why shouldn't Atiku um, contest? Is it not a Nigerian? And now you can imagine the game being played at the background. But I do know one thing, and though it's a sad one, but it's the truth, something I, I, I have at the background, that if Kong Wasso steps down just again, the whole dynamics will change. And if Atiku wins, I don't know how the South will feel. Now, already, uh, Shatima is getting... Get, crying over foul play being played according to him. He, he believes that he's canary, he's, uh, he's also full and blooded. So why shouldn't he also, that he could also benefit them. Now you now notice that um, they are mostly full uh, From Atiko Babaka that is a full man, to him that's though canary but also a full man, has a full heritage as well. I think Congress is the only person that's actually a house man. Okay, but we don't want to go through the uh, genealogy of his birth and all that. You may likely find out that, okay, at some point uh, they migrated, and but that's not it. Most importantly right now, they're Nigerians, all right? They're Nigerians and they're contested on the platform of a Nigerian with pl political platform in Nigeria. Uh, but with this going on, a lot of dynamics are changing. Now, we, can we also ask the same from APC where we can tell we can also beg Bola, Bola Ametunum to also step down for Peter Obi so that the dynamics will also change. And that will be the day because uh, Emilokon has been preaching this gospel <laughs> of Emilokon. In fact, there was a written agreement, which Erofire have mentioned severally, and that they believe that after President Muhammad Buhari, literally, he should be handed over to him, Bola Ametunum, to become the president. So I uh, don't even see him stepping down for anybody and much more. Peter will be. I guess that's a good wrap it up. What's your take on this game playing out in the north over this whole political uh, presidential? Uh,